Hello everyone, today we have uh, 2014 Hyundai Elantra. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna change the uh, clock spring. So in the same video, I'll show you how to remove the airbag and then how you take the steering wheel and change this. So basically it's gonna be like the other video that we make for Ford uh, clock spring. So basically you're gonna do four o'clock, uh, four o'clock snap on clip and eight o'clock and 12 o'clock so 12 o'clock four o'clock and eight o'clock so remember so when you have the right orientation okay so we're gonna go ahead and we'll get like any torx screwdriver or uh, plug it right here with a little hole and push it push it straight so he can have i know it's gonna take a little bit of time with one hand here you go so you bought this one hand all right so you're gonna do the same thing with the right side right here okay you push it until you get the ball snap ball out you know it's one hand see it's bopped up so it bopped up from the right and left now we need to, to do it from the bottom. You're gonna have a little hole. It's gonna be hard to get it to the camera. So it should be the same hole, but in the bottom, you push the screwdriver right here. All right. That's it, see? With one hand, so with, you, with two hands, it should be easy and nice and easy. And the whole job doesn't take 10 minutes. So, flip the airbag backwards, and then with a the small snap-on, get the lock, the safety lock. Get the safety lock out. Because I have this was loose every time I remove the steering wheel after when I, uh, this car was an accident. And after when I clear the, the crash data and reset the module, so that's uh, I found out uh, the the clock is bring. Every time you you swing the the wheel, you see the red the airbag light comes on and off. So uh, you take the uh, you take the plug out, take the plug, and take the second one, and you're gonna have this take the ground off for the horn. All right, so it's gonna be all this snatch right here take it off easy you know it's a little harder it was one on one hand so all right so let's get this one off so all right. all right take this one off Take the airbag aside, board somewhere, and then uh, take this one off, and then take this one off right here, and make sure you have the snap on um, orientation to get the wheel straight. So make sure the wheel outside is straight and the steering wheel is straight, so you're not gonna have an issue. So just make sure this mark is gonna be up while your steering wheel is straight. Okay, so second step is take a socket with a uh, 13, 18 or could be 21 million metric. You're gonna do this. So anyway, I'm gonna pause the video. So I already know before I pause the video, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this one off and then I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I take the steering, steering wheel out like that. We're gonna go ahead and take this uh, two screws, one on the right, one on the left, and then the one on the bottom the same way. So I'm gonna do that. And once you have this out, you're gonna be able to take the, the top cover and the lower cover 
and as I show you, it's gonna be once again, if, if anyone has no time to complete the video, it's gonna be four o'clock, eight o'clock and 12 o'clock, okay? So it should be nice and easy. And uh, if you work with two hand, it shouldn't take more, less than 10 minutes. All right, take the screw off, take the top cover, lay it down right here. And the bottom one, lay it down. Basically, that's what you need, but you know. All right, so as we say, it's four o'clock, eight, 12. So we're gonna go by four o'clock. I cannot see from the sun. All right, so let's do eight o'clock. Right here, guys. It's not down and bump to top. So you see that? Snap it down and bump to top. So it's gonna be outside like that. And the other side, snap it down. Okay. It's a sunny day and I cannot see. All right. I hope you. I hope it appears in the camera. Snap it down and then out. All right. So the bottom piece is gonna be free. And then the top one, snap it down and then out. See that? With one hand. And uh, try to keep the orientation. It's going to be the same straight ahead. So the only thing that you're going to need is, uh, is uh, the, this two. So the white one is easy to come out. Make sure you snap it, snap it down and pull it out. So the, the, the yellow one, that's for the airbag, he, he left it, and then, let me get this clear, snap this one in and lift it up. This is going to be a little tricky. A lot of guys, sometimes they break, they break it when they take it out. So you snap it in and then you take it out. That's it. So it should be easy, but with one hand, it's going to be a little floppy. All right, here we go. So that's it. You take this one in. You said, take this one in. And then take the new one. So the, the old one. And next time, guys, if you if someone is looking to, to fix it, we can take it apart. And uh, the problem usually is going to be in the ribbon cable inside. We can take it apart and weld it. Or the other way, I, will, uh, I can make another video how, how to bypass it for the airbag. So basically this, this four connector is four wire going out from, from right here, from the yellow one to this connector. And this four wire, that's where it goes to over here. But you're gonna have an issue that you have to use the ribbon inside. So when you turn the steering wheel three, say 180 degrees and 180 degrees to the right. So that's why we need to use the ribbon cable. So it will gonna be very hard if you're gonna buy, like get this wire connected here, because once you turn the steering wheel, you're gonna break it. So, and it's very cheap actually. It's gonna be around 30 bucks uh, brand new. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure it's 12 o'clock, four o'clock and eight o'clock. It's nice and easy and very quick job. So you, you can have the rest of the day do something else. You brace it down until you hear the click right here. You see that? You, you come out over here, you click. You see that? You hear it? So make sure you hear it. Here you go. Nice and easy. The same way, the same way you take it out, you put it back in. So uh, make sure you connect it. Don't forget to connect anything because once you forgot something, you're gonna have the cruise control doesn't work. You can have the horn sometimes doesn't work. So make sure don't rush yourself. I just, uh, I am in a hurry in the video, but I know what I'm doing. And I do this like uh, maybe more than many times, so. And if you want, you can connect this connector while you have the, while you have the, you know, make sure that you hear the click all the time. Bosch, Bosch, and sometimes I do two Bosch and then one ball to make sure that don't, don't ball too much, you just be sensitive. So I bush twice and then I bowl once just to make sure it's in place. 
So the second thing that we need to do, get the steering wheel, bad this wire, the same way that you take it out from here. Uh, maybe I'll try to base the video so I'm not gonna break the wire and then get back to you. Uh, once I get this one back in, I gonna bass this wire from, from here and then I'll get, I'll get the knot. I'll get the knot right here. And then we're gonna reverse the procedure that we start with. All right, uh, I'll get back to you later on. Okay, so connect everything back up and make sure all the clips and the safety for the airbag back on. And also don't forget the, the ground. So otherwise we're not gonna have a horn when you get everything back up. So make sure this ground is connected. This one right here, so I have to lift it. It's nice to work with one hand. Okay. So just get connect this right here. So otherwise the horn it will not gonna work. So that means in case if you don't have a horn anytime, make sure the fuse first. Second, check this. Alright, so and make sure also before you connect it everything in place. Because sometime when you twist it over, something got loose. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get this spring back over here and you push it and that's it. And the job is done. You get align it. Align it before you push. Don't push like that. All right. I feel it like it's a line. Just waiting for the bush. And here you go. Once you bush and that's it. See that? So the only thing I get is to screw for the back cover. And now, uh, let's see if we can get the key and store it and see if the problem gets fixed. There you go. So the airbag light went out. So before, when I used to do it like that, right and left, the airbag light was coming out. So it was a bad uh, clock is brink. And uh, if you if you'd want to change it, or for some reason that you cannot find the board, open the back cover and try. You're gonna see the ribbon cable. With the ribbon cable, you're gonna see you're gonna see one of the connection is loose or broke. It's a little wire. Remember this uh, when you drive all day. This right and left, and this wire like a stretch and backward, but stretch and backward. So, all right, guys. See you in the next video and. Uh, Hopefully we can do a complete airbag reset next time and uh, follow up. And if you like the video, just uh, uh, subscribe and uh, like the videos. And uh, see you in the second one. Thank you.